are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 2nd of December. I'm James Spann. After a very cold start this morning, we start to warm up later today. We go back in the 50s and some rain comes back before the week is over. Here we go. This is the upper ear look. Very active, wavy pattern across the country. We have the deep upper load that brought the cold air to Alabama now that's north of New England. And another upper load beginning to form in the southern plain states. And we're kind of in between all of that, so things should be pretty quiet today. But wow, look at those numbers this morning. Adiana, 17, Gadsden, 18 to start the day. That's right at record levels. Now in the cities, it's a bit warmer. Birmingham at 27. But again, we'll be in the 50s later today. There's the watch warning map. We've got winter storm warnings in effect for parts of western Oklahoma and southern Kansas with that next upper low. Freeze warnings for parts of Florida and Georgia for the cold air this morning. And still some winter weather issues with that departing system up in the northeast. A marginal risk of severe storms later today and tonight on the western Gulf Coast from Corpus Christi back over toward Morgan City. And then tomorrow, this is uh, suggesting there could be some thunder for parts of West Alabama. This would be mainly late tomorrow night. This runs through 7 a.m. Friday. And then during the day Friday, maybe some thunder for South Alabama, but no severe weather issues. Rain for the next seven days. The west is fairly dry. Amounts here about a half inch. And almost all of this will be late Thursday night and Friday. And after that, we should be dry for a while. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run at 3 o'clock today. Upper feature over in New England and Canada. That new upper low forming over West Oklahoma and West Texas. But again, for us, the day will be sunny. We go back in the middle 50s today. Still below average, but it will feel better than yesterday. And you can see rain breaking out to the west. Tulsa, Shreveport, Houston. And snow from Oklahoma City West. This is tomorrow. And the models have slowed down with this system. It looks like Thursday. Tomorrow will be dry. Clouds gradually increasing. Highs mid to upper 50s. Maybe some rain arriving tomorrow night. And then Friday will be wet, especially Friday morning. Good chance of rain. We'll be in the 50s all day. Maybe a clap of thunder, but no chance of any severe weather with no surface-based instability. Uh, The rain should be gone by Friday night. And again, rain amounts about a half inch. Saturday, the storm system is on by. We'll call it partly sunny. We stay in the 50s. And Sunday... Should be a mostly sunny day. Highs upper 50s, maybe touching 60 in spots. And 60 is average for this time of the year. And then Monday, another surge of colder air drops in behind a little clipper-type feature coming in from the northwest. You can see it might squeeze out a few sprinkles up in Tennessee. We think the air will be too dry for any precipitation here. But highs drop back in the upper 40s and low 50s on Monday. They'll come down almost 10 degrees. Tuesday, we're dry. Highs will be in the 50s. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 9th. Ridging beginning to build in. Upper low that's over the Gulf of California. And again, we're cool and dry. Let's go out 10 days, Friday of next week, the 11th. Got uh, most of the active weather off to the west with those features. And again, uh, maybe some rain in Arkansas, Texas. But for us, we stay dry. So really, after this rain event, late tomorrow night and Friday, we'll be dry for a while. Now, this is the rain for the next 15 days off the European Ensemble. And again, we note a huge spread out there at mid-month, indicating model uncertainty. Uh, Some of the members of the Ensemble showing a half inch, some showing five inches. The mean, around two inches. So we'll see. Temperatures for the next 15 days. Uh, No more teens and low 20s. You can see highs mostly in the 50s and lows mostly in the 30s. And this is the CPC outlook for December 9th through the 15th, showing temperatures pretty close to average for this time of the year, if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.